Well, if anyone's watching this back, I've just gone live and I've got no one watching. <laughs> but a thumbs up. <laughs> That's bizarre. Oh, hello, everyone who's watching back. But um, I guess no one is watching just yet. Usually someone dives in about now unless it's not working. I've not done one of these in quite some time. Um, if you're here, let me know. Oh, I'm saying I've got one person watching. Mr. Popular. <laughs> Hello, the punished one. Oh, here we go. We've got some people coming in. It says one, but we've got lots. <laughs> I think it's a bit slow to update. I have not live streamed in some time. Certainly not from home anyway. Hello, everyone. Well, as you can probably see, I'm in my studio. <laughs> my spare room. It's close enough. And you can see my plaque over here, my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. I, I'm going to crack one. It wasn't as warm as it has been today, but it's warming up now. And I've just been in the garden. Now, I was going to do this live stream yesterday, but I completely forgot. <laughs> Time got away from me. And uh, so I am here tonight with a punk, apparently. Oh, that's nice and cold. Cheers, everybody. Mm. So, most of you... What was that message? Sorry, I'm on my phone here because it's just easier to do this way. Oh, hello, James. I think I remember you from the Royal Oak. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yes, so the reason for this is obviously I didn't have a um, video up yesterday. I uh, did a couple of back-to-back -back trips, as you know, did the South Downs Way and the canoe trip and was away for about four days for both of them. And, um, of course, you know, that takes a lot of time, plus the editing and stuff. And, yeah, I just couldn't keep up, basically. So I've decided to take a week or so to um, basically catch up with uh, a few jobs, like doing the gardening, fixing my car, a bit of admin, catch up on my taxes... <laughs> All that sort of thing that I'm just not getting to because I'm just plowing through videos. Um, I've also got to prepare for um, displaying at the Kent show, which is in under a week's time. A little bit nervous, really. So if you are kind of local to Kent, in the UK, obviously, um, feel free to swing by. I'll be in the Woodland Crafts area and uh, say hello. Um, have a chat with me. Keep me company. I don't know what it's going to be like. Hold my hand. <laughs> Mm. I've not had a beer in a little while, it's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, so that's the reason for no video yesterday. Um, you can all go watch Simon's take on the um, canoe trip, because he's put his last part up. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Thank you. I need luck for the show. It's quite nerve-wracking. Crowds of people and stuff, and people watching me. Not really what I'm used to. <laughs> Loads of you. I've got 309 people and that's slow to update. I haven't got all that much to talk about. I just thought I'd go live and I just realised time was getting on top of me because I was tackling the garden and um, put my fancy lights on <laughs> and hit live. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment is um, just catching up on life, I guess, really. Oh, thank you, Duncan. Oh, you made some of our replays. I hope they come out well. I get judged on my rappers. My girlfriend is Venezuelan, <laughs> so she usually makes them. Hello, Danny. I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, also, as we're moving into um, summer, a lot more of you guys are getting out there yourselves, people going on holidays and stuff, and some views just decline on YouTube as a whole, I believe, but especially for outdoors channels because you're all... Um, out there yourselves, you fair weather campers. Uh, Rachel, you don't need to send me money. <laughs> no one does need to send me money. <laughs> what area of Kent are you from? I'm originally from Dartford, as someone was saying they saw me in a pub there, but I have moved now in the greater Tunbridge area, as you would have probably seen... Um, in the e-bike videos, one of my starting points was in Tunbridge itself. 
And yeah, this is the kind of set I'm using on the e-bike channel. For those of you who don't know, um, I'm running an e-bike channel. That's about it, really. <laughs> so trying to give honest opinions on these things. A lot of the videos I've seen seem to be very paid for. Um, everything's positive. I mean, I'm picking bikes from manufacturers that seem good, but um, yeah, I am being as honest as I possibly can and trying to actually do um, some uh, long distance rides on them. Uh, my girlfriend does like to camp, yes, and she has been out with me. Have I got an OnlyFans? No one wants to see that. <laughs> uh, James Elworth, hello, buddy. Um, am I still making a cabin for a friend? Yes. I wasn't able to access that woodland because of weather and um, my truck was in for repairs and my other one only had um, road tyres on, so just avoided that um, woodland. Um, I've not been down there in a while, actually. And... Um, I will be getting down to it very soon, hopefully. Um, hopefully the weather isn't going to stay as hot as it has been. <laughs> it's really not for me. Excuse me, it's coming. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading the messages. That's not very interesting to you. Smoky here in Philly. In the Canadian wildfires are. Oh. What was that about a badger? Have you fought a badger yet? It's Morgan. <laughs> Hello, Morgan. Old friend I've not seen in a while. No, but a, a woodland I've been using recently is chock full of badgers. Um, they're destroying the place, basically. Not that you can do anything about that. Um, but yeah, my I'm, I think I'm going Saturday to collect my trail camera from there. It's been there since the last uh, roof tent video. A couple of weeks ago, um, so I should have some good footage on there, hopefully. <laughs> no, I doubt you would see my girlfriend in a video. Um, I'm not sure she's very interested in being on camera, and um, she, well, it's keeping personal and professional <laughs> life separate. Um, can we get some ration pack reviews again? I did have a couple, uh, I still have a couple, they are Russian ones. So might get some flack if I did them right now. Um, I actually did half of a ration review on my long range uh, Cy Russia Ranger e-bike video because that was basically our lunch because my girlfriend came along with me. Uh, look at the Pathfinder, do you rate them? I am loving my Pathfinder. Um, mine obviously was a higher spec one. I don't really know the specs and the names of them. And... Um, yeah, uh, for a 2007, it's got everything. It's got like your heated seats, electric mirrors. It's got quite a big color screen with the reversing camera, electric sunroof. It's kind of got all the gubbins, and so far it's been really good. Um, obviously, a few jobs to do on it, but um, you know that's older vehicles and trucks in general. But it, it's going strong, and it was supposed to be my budget project really hasn't turned out that way with the um uh sorry <laughs> with the um extras i've been buying i've done the um the lift kit on the suspension i've done well, all around new suspension basically with two inches done the body lift kit which is thankfully quite a lot cheaper e-bike channel is called kent e-bikes sorry um what was i saying yeah, um, I've got a spare wheel and jerry can holder rear bumper coming from Canada. Got it from Canada delivered to Memphis in USA. And that's gone <laughs> on a container over to Essex here. So I should be picking that up very soon. I'm really looking forward to get that on. It's just going to look so cool with the spare wheel on the back and jerry cans for like water, fuel, depending on uh, what you're doing. Nancy says hi. Hello, Nancy. Uh, someone said, have I ever tried camping on water? Watch this space. <laughs> I've not camped in the Scottish Highlands, but um, it's something I am hoping to get round to this year. Um, will you get a Ranger Raptor? No. Uh, for now, I'm going to stick with, for my sort of camping and off-roading truck, my Pathfinder, 
and I've got a crappy little Hyundai i10 that's been harsh and it's perfectly fine but you know it's a small car <laughs> I am going to be at the Kent show yes I should be in the Woodland Crafts area I believe they call it uh, I will be doing stuff we'll see how it goes I'll definitely be cooking some stuff <laughs> Hello, Thailand. Ireland. I've never even been to Ireland. Shameful. Who is the designer of your beautiful and fresh studio? <laughs> Me. <laughs> it's an Ikea desk. It's the Ikea billies. You know a load of you. You've got the billies. I've, I'm actually surrounded by billies in here because it's also um, some kit storage in here as well. So that all I'm looking at is shelves of stoves and you know utensils uh, i've got a billy over here which is just chock full of camera gear um it's pretty messy on the floor as well i must be <laughs> honest um yeah so they're just billy bookcases with um some little um triple a battery lights and some rechargeable lights for the orange ones and this is just like plastic shaped stuff that you get off amazon you get a load of sheets for like 40 quid or something <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, it's just a spare bedroom basically. But um yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, kit storage. Lots and lots of stuff. I've got some boxes full of try I was trying to get organized. I got so far and I just needed to get back to making videos after moving in here, so it's kind of half done. But I want to do a little tour of it because I've got a garage that's full of um kit as well. So I've got like fire lighting stuff, cordage. It's kind of organized. Five shelves for stoves. Well, these shelves are kind of display shelves. Uh, everything else is not as tidy. <laughs> so we've got my um, fuel, fuel hand lanterns. That's my cow horn cup. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a kettle. There's another kettle down there. My uh, 100,000 subscriber plaque. Um, after that, it's a million. Um, what's on the top there? That's a, uh, not a bush box, a firebox. And down there's some 70s stove. I do little videos and have been camping. I uh, wouldn't know where to start. I'd like to do a um, get started camping video actually. But the way I want to do it is a lot more work than, um, yeah, it's just a lot of work. So hopefully I will do it. I've been meaning to do it for the last couple of years. Greetings from Eastbourne. I was there a week ago. Flip the camera around, give us a cheeky look. It's quite dark in here because I've just got filming lights on and, um, well, actually, I've not got the blackout curtain, just normal curtain. Maybe in a bit. Hello, King Rapper. I remember when you had a white sheet behind you. I used a tarp on one, like a camo tarp, I think, just because it was a, a mess. But uh, in this place, I've got a little more room. Um, I've got this room, which is a studio come uh, dry storage. And outside is um, a couple of e-bikes, uh, tents, tent stoves, um, and just bigger like camp furniture type things that might take truck camping or bell tent camping, that sort of thing. Oh, message is going quite fast. Would you be called camping cave or area you visit? I've camped in. Uh, two caves now one with simon that was a lovely one which i could go back to the other one not so nice which was um east sussex wise but the tattoo on my arm is crop circles thank you Mula. <laughs> recommendations for beginner wild camping gear tough one there's just so much stuff out there when i first started getting into it i thought a lot of stuff was unnecessary and too expensive and stuff and then as i got some really cheap crap i was like yeah i can see why people use this i can see why people use that um but yeah just get yourself quite a versatile um tent with an outer and an inner um something like the nature hike one i've got you can see it in videos or the van gogh um, they do the banshee which is a little bit heavier than the one i've got which is the helium 2 something like that it's just 
so easy to um to get around um get stuff by a brands you know but don't overpay don't be going out and get um hilleberg and stuff like that why did i stop using the music jingle at the start of my, my content because youtube has quite in-depth things to show what people watch and stuff like that and basically everyone skipped it <laughs> also a lot of people would just tune out like they'd, they'd be they're not immediately captivated they get bored click on to the next video um that is one reason the other reason is you've probably noticed i've pretty much not used music in a long time i used some recently and that's because of youtube's content aware mm -hmm. copywriting things sorry i got a text message and um even stuff which is royalty free free to use mm -hmm. music people try to claim it and stuff like that and you end up having to take your video down or or things like that and it's just hassle there's a lot of hassles with people stealing videos and creating false accounts and stuff like that anyway and i just don't like wasting all of my time doing that stuff when that's time i could be making videos planning videos and just you know generally doing stuff that's useful <laughs> zang favorite meal i've cooked while camping wow I've cooked a hell of a lot. <laughs> um, loved the uh, spit roast pig. I think it's someone else said earlier the birria tacos. Really, because I hadn't ever tried that recipe. I hadn't ever tried birria tacos before, and I really, really enjoyed them. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's probably my favourite. I've done so many bloody things though. The Indonesian one was nice. The beef rendang. I hadn't done that before the video as well. Surprised some of them actually come out the way they do. <laughs> I think English breakfast on yeah English breakfast the breakfast on a rock video is my top video. That's the one um, that got on to um, Beavis and Butthead. Did anyone see that? <laughs> they are making new Beavis and Buttheads, and instead of music videos, they watch YouTube videos within the episode. And I was in one of them. Um, they did contact and get permission and stuff. But uh, just to be kind of roasted by, not childhood heroes, but something I watched as a as a kid, as a teenager, I guess. <laughs> I would love to come to the States. Um, yeah, obviously all that went on hold for a couple of years. Any plans to go abroad? Um, just quickly to interrupt myself, Mark. Yes, the Ellie Glide is going to get a video. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to get back to doing that. One thing is, obviously, it's expensive to travel and film and take all that kit with you. And um, a weird thing, like trip videos, as I call them, they um, they never do that well. <laughs> it's bizarre. I, I really don't know why. But um, you look at, like, my Scandinavian trips and things like that. They just don't do that well in terms of views and stuff. So... They don't pay for themselves. I know obviously I'm getting something out of it as well, but from a point of view as a professional YouTuber, yeah, it's bizarre. Um, YouTube is so focused around clickbait and getting you hooked and what they call intrigue um, that, yeah, just going to a beautiful place and camping just isn't enough for them. And I like to think I keep a good balance of... of doing interesting things and stuff like that i hope so <laughs> would i ever buy my own woodland i'd love to i suppose i'd have to buy a house first and have somewhere to live <laughs> i'm a renter so i guess priorities but yeah i'd absolutely love to have a woodland of course the dog ever come into your tent while camping uh yeah but it was on the farm where i knew the dog was but it's in the video as well. <laughs> it just kept coming and stealing my um, food. Hello, Magda. <laughs> you knew what you, you knew what you were doing with that message. <laughs> ah, TV show. I don't want to be on TV. I don't watch TV. I think a lot of YouTube videos and stuff get more views than TV shows nowadays. intruder at the hut no I've, I've not really been there to be honest um 
yeah that that's yeah i've not really been there because of the um, conditions down there with the, when it was raining and stuff and i've just been busy since so no Ninety five percent of my viewing is YouTube now. Yeah. I mean I don't have as much time um more recently for watching you I mean to be honest, I hardly watch any camping channels apart from my friends. Um I just I guess it's like a busman's holiday as they say. I um I watch other types of videos um rather than watch what I do. It's funny because when you do something and someone's like, you've copied this person. It's like, I've never even heard of that person, <laughs> let alone watch their video. Like, you know, it's camping. We're going to pick some of the same types of locations and stuff like that. It's just going to happen. All of this has been done before. It's like when Simon does something that I've been planning to do and I say to him, oh, you bugger. I've got to wait a year before I can do that. Now everyone's going to say I'm uh, copying you. <laughs> I do not watch football. In fact, I kind of hate football, I'm afraid. My favourite IPA would be, um, I think, I would have to say, it's um, Neck Oil by uh, Beaver Town. I'm loving that stuff lately. I also love one called Wild Beer Pogo, but um, it's... Quite a strong flavour with the guava and stuff. So you can only drink so many. Sorry, this is me touching the screen. What inspired me to start the channel? I'd have to kind of say like um mental well-being. I hate these kind of terms, but um yeah, it's I was in a on a bit of a downer and I needed to get myself out and about and um do something that I used to enjoy so I started doing the YouTube videos to, excuse me, to um, motivate myself to get out once a week and actually do something. Um, yeah, and obviously that snowboard. <laughs> Fremlin's IPA. I don't remember that, but I used to be a lager drinker before I saw the light. I guess back in like the the 90s early 2000s like so many breweries had gone in sort of england and stuff and just it was just lager 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 <laughs> as the song goes love your asmr filming i've not done one in a while it's weird they do well and stuff because um you don't have to know english and youtube being a worldwide platform obviously anyone can um watch a video with no speaking but um then people who are more interested in it from a blog type point of view don't like it but yeah i've just not done one in a while basically camping in cornwall yes i've got a couple of videos of camping in cornwall on the channel one's a nice kind of cliff top one nice little uh, spot i found not too far from tintagel and he has good knives i don't have amazing knives <laughs> not like some of these expensive ones um, I was invited, which I need to do if you know Wiltshire Man, who makes like Jack Law knives and stuff. He invited me down to make a knife with him and have a camp together. And yes, that's something I do want to do. Just suddenly seemed to get really busy and then it didn't seem to stop. So I need to organise that. <laughs> what was that about toilets? Old camera, but toilet shy. Any tips? Toilet shy thing. Yeah, I think everyone is at first doing that. Um, I've seen things that may help. I mean, obviously it depends where you're going and what you're carrying, but you can get, obviously, them toilet tents are fairly inexpensive. You can get commode chairs and stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. It's nature calling. I guess it's how nature intended. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, yeah, and just afterwards put some meths or something in the hole and burn away any tissue and stuff. Even toilet tissue takes a while to actually degrade. 
brown biscuits. <laughs> biscuits brown. What did you think of the South Downs? The South Downs loved it. Um, yeah, loved it. Uh, obviously, was you know on a schedule and had to keep moving. Um, kind of would like to do it again, actually, um, solo. Um, yeah, I'd like to do it again. I may well do. How did I meet Simon? Um, through YouTube, basically. We didn't know each other before or anything. I uh, initially watched his modding a Lavu video. Uh, probably a lot of you have seen that, because I was thinking of doing it. And um, I can't sew. <laughs> and watch more of his videos. You know how it goes, get chatting in the comments and stuff. And um, yeah, and then we arranged to go on that first canoe trip. I think, like mine did, similar channels kind of work quite well. Uh oh, oh no, it's going to ruin my set. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Is world camping legal in England? No, basically. Um, there's one place, Dartmoor, which has had issues recently um, with world camping. And um, that's the only place um, in both England and Wales, in Scotland, you can. Bear with me. I want to go dry mouth. Yeah, so that's obviously a challenge with running a channel that's about kind of wild camping. <laughs> I spend a lot of time talking to people about um, private land access and stuff like that. So a lot of these videos have a lot more planning and stuff than you actually realise. Because although I like going lightweight, going, finding a nice spot and stuff like that, I try to do, you know, big cooks and, you know, use different equipment and stuff like that. And to do that, having private land access rather than, you know, somewhere I can't even really take like an axe or something or a knife, really, without a bit of a concern. You know, just challenging We can share a beer, Magda. What's the worst thing I've eaten? What camping? And probably dehydrated meals. <laughs> I actually, when I slept in a cardboard tent, I made a horrible breakfast. One of them rare things that went very wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be them egg bites, but they were not good. The Fat One Adventure Show. This is my proper job. Well proper job <laughs> not illegal blah 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 where's it gone Thanks. not illegal to carry an axe well we have intentionally vague laws here um the it's about the intention and excuse of carrying something but it's up to discretion of police officer but obviously the thing is people seeing you and getting the wrong impression busy bodies you're carrying an axe around the woods, you know. We're only a small country. But, um, I mean, I've never had an issue like that, but there's always the potential. Do you camp on your own land? No, I do not own any land. I wish I did. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> there's just four miles to go. <laughs> Rachel was on the canoe trip. That's what they kept telling me. There's only four miles to go. What's my favourite metal band? I'm going to go with Megadeth. I love a bit of Megadeth. Sorry, I'm reading, which is not very uh, interesting to you. <laughs> How much is land selling for here? Well, if you mean like woodland, the more land you buy, generally the cheaper it gets. But um, kind of before 2020, you were going above 10 grand an acre. And now it's probably, if you're getting a couple of acres up to maybe six or eight, it's almost 20 grand an acre. It is not cheap. I think it started coming down a little bit again, but um, yeah, land. They're not making any more of it. <laughs> I 
any plans for another trip with Simon abroad? We haven't got any immediate plans, but I'm sure it will happen. Oh, thank you, CC Koda. India's a crown land that is in... Ten no, we don't really have that. We have land managed by, like, the Forestry Commission and National Heritage and things like that, but they're generally, like, parks and stuff. Um, even woodlands, uh, they... They do them in such a way that there's paths that you can almost see from each other so nothing can happen in between and you're supposed to keep to the paths and all stuff like that. Only Dartmoor, which is being hacked away at generally, is is open access. You're allowed to camp and, you know, that's being fought right now in courts and stuff. That's certainly some of it. Yeah, I'd like to go to more countries. Um, I just put all that on hold for a couple of years because travel got difficult. Um, obviously, we've done Scandinavia a couple of times now. I may go up there again late summer, early oh, um, early autumn. Um, yeah, it depends. I'd like to take the truck up, go on a bit of a road trip. Um, the truck is proving itself. It seems quite trustworthy, so we'll see. Sorry, I'm playing with my... I kind of want to get it off. <laughs> What was my favourite thing about Sweden? Just the openness and the size and the outdoorness. Just looking, wherever you look, you're like, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Like, even close to towns and stuff. You're like, that's like a national park back home, but it's just an area near some houses here. <laughs> oh, what was that about the Kent County show? I'm in the woodland area that can kind of show. See you there. I will see you there, Nicola. Excuse me. Tony, yes, apologies. I just can't get on top of stuff. <laughs> um, my time management is not the best. When I moved here, I was trying to get on top of it. I had a lot of work to do when I moved in here. Um, furniture and stuff like that <laughs> cheers cc and um i really got behind myself and i was catching up for months and then you go on a couple of trips that take you four days and you're right back again like even taking a video taking out all the planning maybe land access stuff all of that sort of stuff is like for a one night it's like three days obviously you know you're there 24 hours that's them two days pretty much full of of that there's the packing there's the unpacking there's the drying the cleaning stuff then you got like a day of editing and even doing one video like you could say it shouldn't take you that long but it does um you could say it, it looks worthwhile in the end or you could say it's not but that is what it is um go for another day or see you're adding 24 hours to that going traveling somewhere just all each time and then all the other little jobs sharpening your tools and just finding kit <laughs> all of that stuff um i'm not big on hammocks i can sleep in a hammock but it takes me a while um i like my uh, amok hammock more than i do uh, a normal hammock I do use them from time to time. I've got a couple. Really wish you'd come to New York and do a meet and greet. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I'd love to go there one day. Whoa, 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 whoa. These things are moving fast. Yes, I agree with that. Never really the owner of land. You're just like the caretaker of it till the next person. Finally, look into getting the oil pump changed in your Ranger from your pump piece one year ago. Um, yeah, the Ranger's been in the carriage for a long time, and not for something serious, just for a stuck bolt that ended up having the whole engine to be kind of taken out, pretty much. <laughs> it was just a, such a stupid little thing. Um. 
I'm trying local. Stealth camping. Some are okay, some aren't. It's not really my forte. Um, obviously, I like doing things on a camp. But if you go real stealth, basically, to go proper stealth, you wouldn't be filming it at all. Uh, <laughs> but um, they're hard to film. Like when I did that uh, castle ruin one recently, I could barely film anything. And it's really hard to make an interesting video out of. People love seeing, clicking on them videos. I stealth camped here. Um, I'm sure some of them are fake, but um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, not as enjoyable as making a campfire and cooking a nice meal and <laughs> building a shelter, all them sort of things. <laughs> Gamers room. And I don't game, although I do have a Nintendo Switch, but mainly to play a game with my niece, like online. Advice for someone going to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Keep at it. Keep videos regular. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's. We'll probably see like a thankless task at first. It's so hard to um, to get views, to get noticed, and stuff like that. But be yourself. Don't worry about what other people are doing, do your thing, be regular with uploads, try to be original. When's the cabin video coming? It's coming, it's coming. It wasn't entirely my fault it got delayed. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it will be coming. Hello, Phil the Machine. My videos have come a long way, thank you very much. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to look at an older video. <laughs> But also, when you're always striving to make things better and go for bigger projects and stuff, it can get on top of you. I've got a few projects on the go at the moment. Some are videos, some are kind of ancillary projects to, for the channel. And, uh, yeah, I was getting a bit overwhelmed, which is one reason for this mini break I'm having right now. I didn't know where to start on any of the things I was doing. Yeah, the shelter build will happen. Depends on the weather and how hot it is. I'm not doing it in proper heat. <laughs> um, dugout shelter, maybe on the cards, but certainly not till autumn. Camping with Steve is a channel worth watching. I say I might look at it, but um, I don't have much YouTube time. And when I do, I'm not that into watching camping videos. <laughs> when it's at you, Simon usually posts at the same time. Is that a planned thing? Uh, no, he copied me. <laughs> I think, I don't know what he was doing before, but I used to do Thursdays. And then, because views go down on a Saturday, usually up on a Sunday evening. And I thought, oh, I'll put it on Wednesdays because it gives a couple of days views before that Friday night and Saturday lull. I don't know. And then I've just stuck with it. Thank you very much, Ben. <laughs> well, I hope everything's okay with the hospital stays. Ooh, somebody's message has held for review. That was automatic. I've not got any mods on this or anything. How did it feel to appeal on Beavis and Bite? Yeah, I was saying earlier, it was pretty cool. I like, I get a lot of emails for TV stuff, Facebook stuff, people wanting to use clips, all these kind of things, and I ignore them or delete them, whatever, usually. And then they come up beavers and butted. I was like, can that be real? So I'm, I'm researching the company that's doing the animation and that who emailed me. I'm like, oh, they are legit. And yeah, um, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, let's go with that. And then they didn't actually notify me that it was out. It, people just started commenting on videos saying, just saw you on beavers and butted. So I found out through you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Andy James, thank you very much. I'm glad someone's liking the e-bike channel. Um, certainly something different for me. Um, it's nice to have something new to be doing, so fresh. And um, I am going to build one, yes. A company, French company, I can't think of the name right now, are sending a, um, a kit 
So I'm going to convert and actually have to kind of repair or upgrade uh, an old mountain bike uh, into an e-bike. Do you have a struggle motivation to get out there? Of course, yes. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I do have a lot of issues with that anyway. Obviously, having to get a video out every week is a good motivator. Um, but yeah, when you're nice and warm and indoors and comfortable and it's winter and it's raining or whatever, and you look outside and you're just like, no. But the thing is just getting over that hump and getting out there because once you're there, whatever the weather, you're... Um, having a whale of a time you're enjoying it it's great to be out and you don't want to go back again you don't want to go home so it's just getting out that door and obviously getting to the location i usually have to drive an hour or more to get to any of the locations i get go to how do i keep my beer cold well for half a year that's not a problem in this country the other half you're probably drinking warm beer <laughs> i mean you can chill it before you go but it depends how far away you're you're getting to <laughs> Do I enjoy camping as my full-time job? Yes, <laughs> of course I do. Um, are there times when I don't want to? Yes, but like I was just saying with the motivation thing, once I'm out, having a ball of a time, it's just sometimes getting out. But that is, like I was saying earlier, the reason I started the channel, to motivate myself to get out and force myself out the door. And once I'm there always having a great time and when you're filming and you're so busy doing that you're not you know missing being comfy on your sofa at home watching a youtube video or whatever any advice to people who'd like to try bushcraft just do it if you've been watching the videos already you probably know you don't need too much to get into it um go on a walk try and find some birch bark um find some fat wood, get a cheap knife, you know, do it in your back garden. It's really easy to get started. Obviously bushcraft, going back to kind of proper bush roots, you're going to be not even using modern equipment. So get out there, get some flint, you know, stuff like that. What's the best advice for getting permissions? It's really hard, isn't it? Um, Start a YouTube channel, get 500,000 subscribers. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard to even know who owns land and stuff. It's just getting out there, um, meeting people, talking to people, uh, walk an area of woodland, farmland, whatever. You know, you see someone plowing a field or having a break from it, say hello, get to know people, get to know what land you're on. You might bump into people. It's just interactions with people, getting to know people. Did you realize how much success you and Simon would be on YouTube? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. When I started, I was like, even though the videos are really bad, <laughs> I knew that uh, I had some experience with you know editing and stuff like that from college and from doing a few other little projects i was initially training as an animator but i've done some editing and stuff so i was like okay because back then videos weren't quite as high production as they are now so i was like, i can bring something to the table and um but no of course not like it's it feels like potluck i mean yes there's a lot of hard work involved and sticking with something but um yeah I'm a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to get him on a live stream, but uh, I think he's a bit worried about being not having that uh, button to edit stuff out. <laughs> now Simon's great. Uh, it was really nice, actually, being a bit more relaxed on our last canoe trip. It was good to see him again, because we hadn't seen each other since um, Norway, and obviously that was quite stressful, so the tensions were a little high. <laughs> Thank you, Moto Whispers. What did you animate? I was, um, I didn't animate all that much, to be honest. I trained in it. Um, 
like 3D animation, um, digital. It was for me at the time a route into the film industry with the ultimate goal of being like a film director. But um, yeah, um, by the time I was kind of out of college and stuff, I was a bit sick of it, to be honest. Um, I did a few projects. I got some stuff in a museum and a couple of freelance things and I just got sick of it. Oh, that's the wrong way round. Where are my messages gone? This is my full time gig. How old am I? Let's just say I'm in my 40s. Would you return to Scandinavia for another trip? Oh, of course, of course. What would I do differently? There wasn't a lot differently could have done on that last trip. Uh, a lot of it was planned out for us and stuff. Um, but yeah, I uh, would like to drive up and just drive around finding some nice spots and stuff. Snakes, rarely see snakes. I've seen more lizards than I've seen snakes, to be honest. Uh, but a lot of the places I go aren't like high grass areas and stuff like that. Ba, 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 ba. What do you use to edit your videos? YouTube editor any good? I've never used the YouTube editor, except one time I had to take out a couple of seconds of a video I think I put the same clip in twice or something, and I was really finicky about it. Um, so I just chopped out a little bit of a video after it was published. I use a Mac and I use a Final Cut Pro. Um, but if you're on a Mac, um, like um, iMovie would be fine if you're on a PC. And there's a free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is very good pro editing. Obviously that's getting in on the deep end, but there's so many YouTube videos showing you how to do everything these days. Any plans for 2024? Don't plan that far ahead. <laughs> do you and Simon use walkie-talkies on camp? We took walkie-talkies once actually, because I was going to do a video on a set and I never did the video. Um, but it was... Was it truck camp? I can't remember. We had quite a bit of driving to do and we had walkie-talkies, but it's kind of more for fun. You don't look 40, don't worry. Thank you. Unless you mean I look 50. Do you remember to scan no. Better shoes this time. <laughs> oh dear, the shoes. Well, if I go back, I'll take boots, like the first time I went. But yeah, I had some shoe issues last time, didn't I? It was a different trip. To what was expected and what well what simon expected as well um with him um yeah <laughs> it was different than what it was expected the second half anyway <laughs> what boots do you use i use they're either slung back they are decathlon ones, but they're only cheap. They're not, they don't last forever, but um, like they crack where they bend and stop being waterproof, but they're cheap. <laughs> so are you at the Bushcraft show? Or was volunteering there? It wasn't me. I've never been to the Bushcraft show. I've got a looky likey. Right, I'm so behind on these messages. <laughs> if I want to order anything from UK, which brands or website would you suggest? Um, check on my review channel, um, Gear and Review. There was a, a British Makers video that had, you know, TJ and Metalworks, um, um, Paul Dawes' uh, level work. Did I say? Did I say level work twice then? TJ and Metalworks, level work, metalwork, getting myself confused. Um, these kind of smaller makers, these people, um, there's a few on that video which are good to look into. And people are tightening their belts lately and it does really affect these people. Do you drink beer with your breakfast? I do not. Maybe you're in another part of the world, it's Getting on for six o'clock here, I think. 
maybe a music festival. I'd love to come to Canada. My axe is a um, Halfter's Forest Axe. There's a lot of messages being held for review. I do wonder. Maybe it's just people writing the same thing over and over again. Was your axe incident? Oh, I keep scrolling. Worst big craft accident you've had? Uh, thankfully, yeah, probably. Um, the axe incident was me. Uh, what was I doing? I sometimes hold like kindling sized bits of wood and move my hand at the last minute, which really I don't tend to do it on camera because you get the comments. <laughs> but like people like Mark just get really worry. But I move my hand before the axe. But what I was actually doing was where I was holding a piece of wood with the axe on the top like that. And you're supposed to let go. And I did let go as they made contact, but the axe kind of didn't go into the wood it went into my finger it kind of came off it was a very hard bit of wood and went Phew. it was right at the beginning of starting a video um yeah it's probably the worst thing obviously got sick in sweden that time that was just a sickness like a 24-hour bug um on dartmoor i kind of hurt my i don't know heels of my feet uh, it was irritating me for like a year or so afterwards where like you're going down a like cliff face or hill or whatever and you kind of go bang on them like that and that was bothering me for a year or more <laughs> i don't know if anyone just read what andy b just put that was quite amusing <laughs> How many cameras am I using? Um, Gabriel, I will use one main camera if I'm hiking or um, pedaling or paddling. I might use my phone for the odd shot, try not to. I'll have an action camera generally and um, my drone, that's all. Um, it's a hell of a lot of adjusting a tripod i must say brian johnson or bon scott bon scott i visited the place he died the road he died on like in the car randomly a year or two ago be fun to see you and joe robinette do a trip together that'd be cool i, I must admit i've not seen um one of joe's videos in a little while because i've just not been watching so much youtube but yeah that'd be cool i know he's well at least used to watch my videos but yeah that would be pretty cool to get over there one day did the drone you lost on dartmoor uh, the drone i lost on dartmoor that was kind of before all this lockdown stuff happened so um it was hard to get back up there and yeah, I just forget about forgot about it in the end and just bought another drone on its own side, all the batteries and everything. What do I think of the Eliglide T1? Uh, the T1, is that the one Mark used on our recent trip? I get confused with names. If it is, I have the same one. And um, I have not used it very much just on that one video. Um, if it is that one, it's... A very nice bike it's got the gearing it's um how do i say this it's more like a mountain bike adapted to a, an e-bike which is not necessarily a bad thing because you've not got a lot of extra weight and you've got them extra gears that a lot of manufacturers leave off um and the batteries don't cost too much they're a little bit smaller than a lot of them but they don't cost very much to get like an extra one um but yeah a good bike. I'm going to get out of mine and do some miles before I do a review of the Ellie Glide. Thank you. Was that Eileen? Things have disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, I've got some plans for some extra things that are not um, necessarily video related, but are channel related that I'm trying to work on. And have been trying to work on for a long time some of you could probably guess what them things are 
but I don't want to say anything about them until they actually happen and curse myself. But um, that's something I'm trying to get a start on. Well, not a start on, but carry on with on my week or so off. It's probably going to turn into two weeks off. Uh, I do not know Blot Outdoors. I was saying earlier, I don't watch many outdoors channels these days. Who could organise a social? <sighs> As an antisocial person. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't go to any of the shows or anything and well other than doing this Kent show, we'll see how that goes for a start. Um yeah, uh maybe. I won't rule it out. Nick, where do I get my recipe ideas from? Well, I used to do the barbecue catering, so some stuff kind of come from that and just a love of cooking. Um working out my own recipes based on, you know you look up a dish a lot of people will always have their own take on it from where the dish is from whatever country uh visiting countries trying something wanting to recreate it getting inspired from it that sort of thing a lot of you know so i love kind of mexican food um that kind of barbecue i suppose tex-mex whatever you want to call it all of that sort of stuff i love all food really as long as it's not seafood <laughs> What makes my million view videos uh, more, I guess, engaging than the others? I've got, I actually looked the other day, I've got like 19 videos that are a million views are over now, which is crazy. I remember the first one hitting a million. It was just before Simon's one did, which was the video we made at the same time. Not with each other, but in the same snowstorm. <laughs> um, yeah, like 19 of them. If I knew the answer... All of my videos would be over a million views. <laughs> it's to create intrigue, apparently. Excuse me. I guess it's making someone want to click on that video. Or oh, I've not seen that before. Or oh, I'd like to see what happens there. And it's generally in my genre, or genres, would be bad weather. Everyone likes to see camping in bad weather, I guess because of the juxtaposition of the two things. They associate camping with summer and holidays and bad weather, obviously being the opposite of that. And with cooking, obviously steaks and bacon and fried eggs for some reason always in a thumbnail always seems to help a video. But um, yeah, like cooking on a rock is something your average person's not going to want to, uh, 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 is going to have heard of. So it creates injury. Um, yeah, I guess so. That's it, really. Obviously, people do like shelters being made as well, um, which I'd like to do more of. That's, you know, there will be some coming. I slept like a log last night, woke up on a campfire. All right, Andy. <laughs> Let's go to the channel. Oh, the Transparent Dome video. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, I had the thumbnail in my mind and I was like, I've got to do that video now. <laughs> as ridiculous as it was. You gotta try these things. Like, you know, whenever do you get the chance to do these stupid things? Oh, you got the bitty big cube, cool. How many hours of walking back to your camera do you reckon you edit out? I could make a long video of just walking back, driving back, cycling back canoeing back that's the worst one for cameras yeah <laughs> maybe i'll do it one day no one's gonna watch that are they how boring i do sometimes talk to the camera on the way back as well our first was the carpool tent video yeah a lot of people come in on them videos that have a lot of views and yeah it's hard to think of them ideas i had that cardboard tent us I think I had the idea of one. I looked to see if anyone actually sold one, found that one, got it imported from the Netherlands, and it sat in a garage for nearly a year. And I was like, I had to have guaranteed rain for that video to work. If I went out and it didn't rain, you know, what's the point? It doesn't matter if you're in a cardboard tent or just under the stars. So I had to have rain. And I was really worried for a, a few hours that I wasn't going to get it then. 
Hey Andy, you love videos, down to earth attitude, thank you, and personality. Really love the recent canoe trip. Thank you very much. E Eod Vods. Eod Vods? <laughs> treehouse. I was thinking of an Ewok treehouse the other day. Watch this space, who knows. I know you because of Beavis and Butthead. Oh, so people did actually come in from that. It's interesting. Cooking with the viewers. Yeah, yeah, people have suggested recipes before and I've been like, yeah, yeah. Like the Indonesian video I did was um, um, inspired by the fact that I have quite a large Indonesian subscriber base, surprisingly. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll do an Indonesian dish then. And I'm really glad I did because it's one of my favourites. I did do an outtakes video once and occasionally I'll put them on the end of a video, but they only really happen when I'm with someone. Um, yeah, because yeah, I, don't, I just don't get that many. I'm not a continue rolling sort of person. Um, but uh, yeah, I put them in when I can, when I think I've got enough to actually make something of it. Do I still have the big salt slab? I do have it. I think if I use it again, it's going to split in half. Um, might get another one at some point. Um, I was really surprised by how nice um, the food cooked on the cooking rock, rock salt, rock salt cooking block was. <laughs> we love our meter probe. Yeah, the meter probe. Everyone, they are pricey, but very good. Like, I was amazed. Mine is right here. I told you it's kit storage, my meter probe. They are so good. I paid for this. It's not wasn't a sponsored thing or anything. But just that little probe in there has a battery and two thermometers in it. One for the external temperature, one for the internal temperature of the meat. How clever is that? And it goes to like 400 degrees or something ridiculous. Like, how do you make that? It's amazing. Yeah, that was like witchcraft to me when I bought it. I had to get it. <laughs> right, guys been an hour i've had two beers so i'm kind of needing a bit of a pee so um i am going hang on sorry i'm reading um yes i'm going to call it a day on this one i hope you've enjoyed it i know it did just turn into a bit of a q and a um i'd like to do these more often that's one of the reasons i was doing this studio is to do stuff like this but uh, i think i'd have to have a bit more of a itinerary of things to talk about rather than just doing q and a um yeah so thank you guys there may be a video next week i'm not entirely sure because this mini break and doing the kent show um so if you're at the kent show i will see you there if not i'll see you on a video really soon cheers everybody see you soon and I said that like I was filming, and now I have to figure out how to stop this thing. Awkward. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>